One, built-in microphone. Two, recording indicator. Three, display screen. Four, recording shortcut. Five, confirm, play, pause button. Six, M button or menu button. Seven, back. Eight, outgoing speaker. Nine, USB interface. 10. Previous song key, plus key. 11. Next song button, minus song button. 12. Volume button. 13. Reset. 14. Power on. 15. Power off. 16. External microphone. 17. Headphone jack. Step 1. Power switch. Push up to power on and push down to power off. And when the power is in the on state, long press the play pause button to turn on off. Step 2. You can start recording by short pressing rec. While recording, short press red to stop and save the recordings in a file. By long pressing the volume keys, you can access the lock screen and unlock the device, which helps minimize problems during recording. In the recording state, short press the play pause button to pause the current recording. Short press it again to continue the current recording. Short press the menu key to enter the secondary submenu selection interface and short press the play key to confirm the entry, triggering actions such as enter, play or pause. Short press the back button to return to the previous level and long press it during playback to directly return to the main interface. The menu offers a selection of substantial items including music, recording, folders and settings. Menu options under the recording menu. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the recording settings and briefly press the confirm button to enter. 1. Recording library. View the recording files on the current device. 2. Recording format. Choose between MP3 and WAV formats. 3. Recording bitrate. After selecting the recording format, the corresponding bitrate options will be displayed. You can view detailed information about each recording method directly on the screen. 4. Sound activated recording. When the sound control switch is on, briefly press the record button to activate sound control recording. The device will automatically detect surrounding sound and start recording if it reaches a certain threshold. Recording will pause when the sound drops below the threshold and resume if the sound level reaches the threshold again. Note, avoid using this function in important situations. Adjust the sensitivity of sound control recording from levels 1 to 7, where higher levels indicate lower sensitivity in detecting sound sources. Please choose the appropriate sensitivity level based on the current environment. Note that the factory default setting for sound control on this device is off. Enable this feature in the settings to use it. 5. Monitor settings. Choose between monitoring on or monitoring off. When monitoring is turned on and headphones are plugged in, you can monitor the recording process. Note: Turn off the noise reduction switch before using this function. 6. Recording subsection. Select from four different split times. 30, 60, 90 or 120 minutes. 7. Recording indicator. Set to on or off. The factory default is on. 8. Noise reduction switch. Factory default is set to open. 9. Timed recording. You can customize the start and end times for recording as needed. After turning on the timer switch, you can set the desired start and end times. Additionally, you can choose the preferred recording frequency – single, daily or weekday recordings based on your requirements. 10. Power on. Timer recording cannot be activated when the switch is off. 11. Source of the recording. When an external microphone or line-in is connected to the device, briefly press the record button and you will be prompted to select the external microphone line-in. Menu options under the music menu. While in play, pause or stop mode, briefly press the menu button and the play mode, sound settings, speed settings, bookmarks, delete functions will be displayed. 1. Playing mode. Choose from single track repeat, all repeat, random play, or single track play. 2. Equalizer. Selectable equalizer options include off, rock, funk, hip-hop, jazz, classical, and electronic. 3. 
Variable Speed Playback offers eight levels of speed control. Four, Bookmarks. Add Bookmark adds the current playback time to the bookmark. Go to Bookmark starts playback from the added bookmark. Delete Bookmarks deletes selected bookmarks. Five, File Deletion. During play or pause, press the menu button and select Delete in the sub-menu. Choose Delete Files or Delete All from the options. Use the up and down buttons to select Yes to delete. Files cannot be recovered or No to cancel. Remember to back up your files before deletion. Note: Do not turn off the power switch during file deletion. Deleting all files may take longer with a large number of files, so please be patient. 1. Storage location. Choose between internal memory or external memory for storing your files. 2. Language. Select from 25 available languages, including Simplify Chinese, English and German, to set the display language for your device. 3. Brightness. Adjust the overall brightness of the display to suit your preference. 4. Backlight Timer Set the screen backlight to automatically turn off after 10, 20 or 30 seconds, or keep it always on. 5. Screen Saver When the backlight timer is activated, the device displays a digital clock as a screen saver. 6. Sleep Off Set the device to automatically power off after a duration of 1 to 99 minutes. 7. Power Saving Shutdown Set the device to automatically shut down after 1 to 30 minutes of inactivity. Selecting 0 means the device will not shut down due to inactivity. 8. Date and Time To set the date and time, use the up and down curved keys to select the numbers and the volume keys to switch between the moving clock, minutes and year, month, day. Once set, press the confirmation key to save the changes. 9. Password setting. You can enable or disable password protection for your device. To set a password, follow these steps. Select ON to enable password protection. Short press the confirmation key to enter the password setting mode. The display will show two groups of 0000 for the password combination. 10. Information. Access basic information about the device and its memory capacity by navigating to the Information section in the Settings menu. 11. Factory Settings To restore the device to its factory settings, select Yes in the Factory Settings options. Once confirmed, the device settings will automatically revert to their original factory settings. This may be useful if you encounter issues with the device or wish to reset all the settings to their defaults. To connect the device to your computer, follow these steps. 1. Locate the USB cable provided with your device. 2. Insert the USB Type-C connector into the corresponding port on the device. 3. Connect the other end of the cable to an available USB port on your computer. Upon connecting, the device will power on automatically. If this is the first time connecting, your computer may prompt you to install necessary drivers and recognize new hardware. Once a new disk appears in my computer, the connection is successful. Note: This device features OTG functionality, allowing for compatibility with mobile phones that support OTG.